Ugh. Fuck. But all right. We have this list. All right. So here we go. Hey guys, I'm working the um I'm working the E3 setup. Okay. Whatever. I, I don't know. People were saying that this is prestigious. That it's from somebody who really knows what they're talking about in the industry. Is it truly, or is this just like you know hearsay, a random post on 4chan? I don't know. I'm working the setup for E3 2018 at Los Angeles, and I already received installation instructions from Nintendo for the physical stance for their consoles and software for E3 2018. I don't know the exact name of the games. I can tell you that there will be no new 3DS games. Or for this E3, they'll only have Switch. And this is what we will have. First party for the moment. Now, if you want to presume this is real, I will say, personally speaking, I'm glad that they're pushing entirely on Switch. It's a great console. It needs that attention. 3DS, I'm a little bit over. I, I'm fully over 3DS at this point. It, it's nice that we get, like, confirmation. This year, it's all about that Switch. Because we need those titles on here, man. You haven't heard me talk about this stuff a lot. But, okay, we got Metroid Prime 4. Pokemon is two versions with the 8th generation. That's expected. Bayonetta 3. Pikmin 4. That's expected as well. Um, the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. Nigga, what? Okay, okay. I, I can see it working. I mean, I guess that falls in line with the next game to be sort of like remade or bought up to date. It looks good to be. It looks too good to be true. Hold on, I feel like this is probably gonna save the crazy stuff for the bottom of the list. We also have Super Mario Maker Two. It's a sequel, not just a port. All right, I don't see what they could do. Oh wait, wait. Oh, wouldn't they? Even though they have the one on the 3DS, I I can see them bringing it to the Switch. That makes sense to me. They also have Super. Sm oh no! Oh, oh, here we go. Here we fucking go. Do you even really want me to believe? You're playing games with my heart. I don't know about this one, bro. Too good to be fake. Saying fake because everyone else is saying fake. I look, you take things to a whole nother level when you mention the 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 SSB, the the, the words with those letters involved. I don't know. Guys, my heart and soul have been bruised consistently over by Nintendo, by these by these people anticipating. I'm tired. I don't want to be hurt anymore. What is love? All I'm going to say is, if this list truly is... I'm not trying to go into E3 expecting some Smash Brothers. Do you remember how much I was destroyed last year when it didn't go down? God, people couldn't stop telling me about how much of a bitch I looked. But not just what people's opinions were. I was obliterated by no Smash Brothers being announced. But I will say one thing. Oh my God. If they announce Smash this year in some form or fashion. All right. Now, here, let's get it clarified. I'm not asking for a Smash Brothers 5, a new game. That's not quite, all, I, all I would like is a port of the games that it, uh, initially existed. You know, I don't even want new characters. You don't have to put new stages. But bring the game itself to the Nintendo Switch. That's all. I don't know if you guys have been playing that brawl out shit. It's not my cup of tea. I really try to get into the mood. <laughs> Maybe it's just because the characters aren't the ones that I recognize. Uh, that has a lot to do with what makes games popular, you know? You want to be playing as the guys that you know and love, that you have an attachment to, that you've grown up with, that you've had story interactions with. But when you don't, and it's just like these random fucking animals, who the fuck is that frog in Brawl? I don't give a fuck about F Kermit the Frog. I give a fuck about playing as Pikachu, you know, uh, Bowser, 50 Cent, Fat Joe, some bowling. <laughs> That's what I care about. Super Smash Brothers. Man, I want to play Death Jam Brothers, all right? <laughs> Bunch of rappers fighting each other. These bitches are going to be crying all the time. Put that shit on the motherfucking Xbox. All right, anyways, <laughs> go back to the actual video at hand. Uh, Super Smash Brothers video at hand um, leaks for the Nintendo Switch. The ultimate version, all right, here we go, of Super Smash Bros. 3DS and Wii U with new major content and DLC, all DLC included. So, yeah, yeah, okay. That's really, <laughs> this thing went from Pikachu to 50 Cent. <laughs> I would love to have 50 Cent in a Smash game, man. <laughs> the nigga's special, he gets shot nine times, and he makes an album. <laughs> Bro, the more you shoot 50 Cent, the more work he does. That's why the nigga hasn't made a good album in years. No one shot him yet. <laughs> like, dogs, the only way you're gonna get some good music out of him is you blow his head off. <laughs> That's fucked up. I'm, too, I'm, I'm making fucked up jokes. <laughs> Anyways, what else is in this list? Luigi's Mansion 3. 
To celebrate the 35th anniversary of Luigi, developed by Next Level Games, WarioWare, a surprise, a new WarioWare game. Now, that one, I don't know. Isn't WarioWare losing, like, people aren't really, I, I think the last one they released, didn't it flop? And people weren't really going for it, but they could try to revive it. I mean, the Switch, with all the Joy-Con movement and the touchscreen shit and the switching from the console to the fucking portable, may maybe it would be viable on the Switch. I mean, actually, considering all the janky bullshit that they did with 1-2 Switch, yeah, I can see WarioWare working fucking perfectly. Nintendo, that's an opportunity that maybe you wouldn't want to miss out on. Okay, we also have an Animal Crossing game. Now, I've never, I'll tell you this, played an Animal Crossing game. Fucked up, I know. So many people have been telling me how great that series is. Um... One of the lady friends who I was interested in before she played around with my heart was telling me, oh, Animal Crossing is all the rage. You need to play it. And I really am excited to. I didn't want to play that whole pocket camp thing because everyone kept saying how it's not like how the original Animal Crossing is supposed to be. You need to play one of the games that's, you know, made as a core game and I, I i'm waiting now for the nintendo switch version so this is something i'm going to pick up day one i've heard though i don't know if it's true entirely but i've heard that animal crossing has a bad tendency of sucking in people and ruining their lives but i'm used to that i'm playing xenoblade like it's a fucking addiction and i've lost already almost 500 hours of my life due to that shit that's 500 hours i'll never get back dog imagine if you had that converted to real life time that's you living an extra a couple of days, a week or two. That, that's major. But Animal Crossing, new game of the Animal Crossing series. Okay, Fire Emblem, the 16th game. Yes, yeah, we're expecting that one. Yoshi, Mario Party 11, don't give a fuck. And a new unknown IP, the obvious one, which I'm still... I'm, I'm going to excuse this list. Everyone's been asking me about it. I'm putting this one in the fake bin. All because of Smash Brothers. And not necessarily because I don't believe it's happening. But I don't want to be hurt anymore. God, the, the the abuse that my heart has been put through over the last few months has been ridiculous. Whether it be an intimate partner, whether it be um, YouTube career status, whether it be the advertising shit, whether it be motherfucking um, meeting up with friends and everybody flaking out on me, whether it be Smash Brothers being announced. I'm tired of having my emotions played with. I'm going to excuse this one and leave it on the side. But if for some reason Sakurai comes back from the Aether, and he's like, listen, we're doing a remake, bro, I'm gonna lose my fucking mind, but I don't think it's happening, what do you guys think, wait, hold on a second, no shit, Sherlock, a new IP without a name, um, haven't heard that one before, and I don't think that's the actual name, Savage Vault is in here with the sponsor, thank you, man, now, this is too good, they wouldn't just, uh, let me see, what'd you say, they wouldn't just announce a bunch of games, uh, for their best IPs, yeah.